What's up guys, it's BD here, and 2020 was a great year for mice. There's no doubt about it. We had so many releases that came out, so many great mice. There's just a lot to choose from last year. But going into 2021, I wanted to make a video on some of the things that we didn't see last year that I'm hopeful to see this year. And I wanna make this like an open discussion. I'm gonna list off some of the things that I'm missing, but I would also love to hear from you guys and what you guys were missing from last year that you wanna see this year. But before we begin though, guys, I have a word from today's sponsor, Morning Brew. I, like many of you guys, start my day off by grabbing my cell phone, going on social media, trying to find vital pieces of information, you know, just so I'm caught up on the day-to-day -day news of what's going on around the world. And after about 30 minutes, you've learned nothing, and now you're late to start your day. If this sounds like you, then I have the perfect solution for you. It is Morning Brew. By signing up with Morning Brew, they'll send you a newsletter that's compiled with the latest news from business, tech, finance, and the best part of it is it only takes five minutes to read the whole thing. That means there's more time in the morning to do what matters most to you. And some of these stories that I've read on Morning Brew since signing up, I would have never seen otherwise. I'm pretty sure of it. And this is no ordinary newsletter as it's presented in a witty, fun, and easy to read format. It's not super wordy and it gets straight to the point and it's a joy to read every single morning. There's a lot of great stories on here that will impress your family and friends and you can aware them about what's going on in the world and you're gonna make yourself look even smarter in their eyes. So what are you waiting for? Hit that link in the description, head on over to Morning Brew, enter your email, and change your mornings forever. So let's talk about the most important part of any mouse the shape. Now last year I felt like ergonomic users kind of got screwed over as there was a ton of ambi mice that came out but there was barely any ergonomic mice to choose from. There was like the Death Adder V2 Pro Mini, there was the V2 Pro just a regular one, there was a D minus but I felt like there wasn't too many lightweight ergonomic mice that came out. There wasn't a wide variety like the ambi users had. Now I'm personally an ambidextrous user but I want to speak for all of you guys out there that love ergonomic mice that are palm grip users or relaxed palm that love ergonomic mice. And when it comes to shape, another thing that I wanna see is the size, like a size reduction. More shapes in different sizes. So like the G Pro Wireless, I love to see that in a small version. Uh, XM1, I love to see that in a mini version. We need that because that thing just reaches to Antarctica. That scroll wheel is so far away. I love to see a mini version of that and make it wireless at that, but we'll get into that later. I feel like we had a lot of medium to large size mice last year and I wanna see them shrink it down. All right, make some smaller sizes. That's the way the trend of mice is going. So I'd love to see some companies kind of hop on that trend as well. Like it'd be really cool to see Logitech offer a G Pro Super Lite, small, medium, and large. That would be really cool to see. I'd love to see some new wacky shapes come out this year. Something different, something that nobody else has tried. I know we have the new shape in the Zygen MP01. Uh, I'd love to see more companies kind of try something new, do some new takes on some of these older shapes that we still have today. Now, the next thing I wanna see in 2021 is more companies making their mice wireless. Gloria stepped up to the plate last year and they're starting to make their mice wireless, which is a great thing to see. And the mice that I'm really looking at to be wireless is like the Burst Pro this year. I'm looking for that XM1 Mini Wireless. That would be dope. You know we gotta have that Razer Viper Mini Ultimate we need that razor. We need it. We need it. I'm surprised that hasn't come out yet. And then I'd also love to see an Extrify M42 wireless. Could you imagine that mouse wireless? Oh my God. So yeah, this one's quick and easy, more wireless. If we can up the battery life on these mice as well, that would be great to see as well. So yeah, this is an easy one. We just need more wireless mice or wireless takes on some of the mice that we already have. I know it costs more to make a wireless mouse, but at the end of the day, that could put you ahead of the competition. Think about it. I mean, when you look at the top three mice right now they're all wireless speaks for itself now another thing i want to see in 2021 is more moddable shells now ponies first brought this into the market in early 2020 I think it was. And then M42 took it a step further and brought us all these different shapes where we can mod it. So you can have more of a flat, more even hump, or you can have a big hump in the back. And this was a genius idea. I'd love to see more companies do this this year. And then on the Ponage, they even allow you to swap out the battery. They allow you to change the DPI button, the mouse one and two. So there's a lot of cool stuff that can happen if companies really put some money into these moddable shells. 
themselves. I think it'd be really cool if people spent like 50 to $60 on a mouse, and then down the line, maybe six months later, you drop another shell for like 10 bucks and change the whole feel of the mouse. People are gonna be able to try a different shape without having to drop another $60, or maybe it is time to move on from the mouse. Who knows, but at least you give some options in the longevity of your mouse. Now, another thing that I'd like to see is more companies moving over to Kale switches from Omron switches. Kale is just better. That's all I'm gonna say on it. They're just better. They feel better, they sound better. Oh yeah. Now another thing I wanna talk about is mouse feed. Companies have gotten really good with their PTFE feed, especially like Glorious with their G skates, but some companies still need some work. So it would be really cool if they would collaborate with like Core Pads or Hyperglides. That would be really cool to see if they just threw in another set into the box with the original ones. Another thing that I would love to see is some mice that have the detachable USB-C micro or USB-C cable. That way you don't even have to go into your mouse anymore. You can just swap out the cable with ease and you don't have to open up, you don't have to mess up your mouse feed. It takes all the guesswork out of it. You can just plug and play. So I'd love to see more of that in 2021. So some mice that I would love to see this year are some different sizes for the Superlight. I'd love to see a new Superlight G703, Superlight G305. I'd love to see the Model I and the Model D- minus from Glorious. I'd also like to see a wireless mini XM1. I'd love to see a mini XM1 just in general. I'd love to see a M42 wireless. I'd love to see Zowie with some lightweight mice. It's not gonna happen, but one can only wish. I can't wait for Zygen to make some new shapes and have people copy them. Wait, did I just say that? Wait, editor, cut that out, cut that out. All right, so it's Editor BT here, and there's one more thing that I forgot to mention that's very, very important for 2021 that I forgot to mention in this video. And I think I speak for all of us when I say Final Mouse. We need your mice in stock. We don't wanna play aim gods, get over it, okay? We just want the mouse. We don't wanna pay $3,000 for it, okay? So if you could please just have them in stock for once in your entire life, that would be great. But yeah, that's what's on my wish list for 2021. I'd love to hear, like I said, from you guys and what you guys would want to see this year when it comes to gaming mice. And I'm sure I probably missed some stuff, but I was just going off the top of my head. I want this to be more of like a discussion. But all right, guys, it has been your boy BT. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.